Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm Mike, the explosive one. Oh, let's start the timer. But ding TNT, we had an excursion today. We, we got a, a SUV? Yeah, yes, we got... What is what, what company makes that? I don't know. I don't honestly even know. Anyways, we, uh, you know, we, we broke the news recently that we recorded a rap song with our buddy. I guess I don't know, it's kind of like a rock song. A with, rap song? I guess it's like a rock song with raps in it. A, ra a rocky oh rap God. song, y'all. We recorded a single. Yeah. We recorded a single. We did. Um, it, it came, it actually, you know, obviously we're biased. I feel like it came out all right. It's our first song. And me and Jonas decided to take it to the next step. And what did we do today, Jonas? We, we filmed stuff for a video. We now, did it. Now, full, like, full transparency. Don't tell them about no, the no, video. No, no, no. I'm not going to tell them about it. If... It may not come out what we think it's going to come out like. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, we'll see. But, yeah, we uh, we did some things. I'm not going to tell you. I mean, because the whole video is related to the name of the song. I'm not even dropping that. But we did some on-location shooting. We had props. Yeah, yeah. Outfit changes. Oh, definitely outfit changes. Yeah, there was Wardrobe, people looking yeah. at us weird. We were oh, in yeah. a parking lot. This, so yeah, we 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 basically found out what it feels like to be real live influencers. And Did we? And TikTokers. Is that what it's like? That, that is exactly what being an influencer and a TikToker is. Jones, you get out there in the field. And yeah. you take videos of yourself, and people walk by in the aisle and look at you and be like, "Oh my god." Oh, I didn't tell them we were in a store. You spoiled that part. I'm just saying. It yeah. Does, you know, but that's what happens with TikTokers. Either way, so we, we went to a certain store and Did I've, some I've noticed a couple of looks. We're, like, what are the looks? I didn't notice. I, I, I literally paid no attention well, to anyone else in there, except for if they were, like, in our shot. I made sure we didn't record them. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, for one thing, I was walking around in a, in a Naruto shirt um, at, at my age holding a large piece of equipment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, walking around. Hey, man. Everybody needs large to buy tool. stuff at, at stores, right? Yeah, and then we're, like, taking pictures of us, like, behind doors and, like, peeking out from behind doors and jumping through windows. And th I mean, we didn't cause any damage while we were out there. We're not, like, disturbing the peace. No, we did nothing that would have got us in any sort of trouble yeah. other than them being like, hey, you can't record anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, but we got a good footage. We did some other stuff. I, I think it, it was a lot more fun than I expected it to be. Um, we got some, Jonas, we got some good stuff. I got ready. to be stupid and that's my favorite. So, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he's ready to become a TikToker, folks. I am not. Uh, yes, dude, I want to get him on the talk. But I feel like. Crazy Town Talks coming soon. Right. I feel. T -t 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 like if we do another single and we want to do another video. Okay. I feel like I'm okay. It depends how this turns out. Cause that was, it took us what, like an hour, hour and a half, maybe at the most. Yeah. And we wandered around. We probably got, yeah, I don't know how many, how many minutes of footage that we got, but whatever, you know, it's a good, uh, yes, it, it was a good starter, starter song, starter video. Next thing you know, we're going to be on the Grammys. <laughs> I'm hoping so, man. Maybe if the song makes it big, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a little catchy. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if we talked about yeah our buddy uh, uh, Jeremiah that was on the show. Yep, yep, he yep. he he wrote and produced the the song. He or he wrote, he wrote write, the music. He did not. Yeah, he wrote the music. He wrote he the produced, music and produced the song. He produced. So we all yes. did our own parts. Uh, no idea when it's when it's dropping. So I don't I know would when say this. Pretty soon, honestly. Yeah, probably. I don't know when this actual podcast is coming out right yet, and I don't oh, know yeah. when the song's getting released or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the song will be. It'll get dropped in this feed of the podcast. So if you listen to the podcast, one day you're going to be like, what the hell is this song in the middle? That's us. We'll, yeah, we'll put it at the end of the episode, maybe. Well, I was just going to put it in the feed as its oh, own separate. Oh, okay. I get it. I get just it. so people could see, you know. All right. Um, you know, but whatever, man. And uh, But yeah, I uh, I like that. So how does it feel to be Takashi 6 9 Jonas? How does it um, feel? You know, the rainbow hair is taking a minute to get used to. Mm -hmm. I do like the grill. I'm, uh, I, you know, my face, face tat's healing yes. quite nicely. Yeah, like, I've noticed, right? Yeah, All the yeah. tarring is gone. Right I was, uh, you know, funny thing you brought that up. So I walked over to the hot tub yesterday yeah. and there were these, there were these dudes that were over there a few weeks ago you and they were chit chat with they're musicians, whatever. Did you blow them? No, not okay. at all. all right. So I went back Just over asking. yesterday and they were over there again. And uh, they were talking about tattoos. I guess none of them have tattoos. And the one guy was like, da, 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 da. you know, face tat. And I was like. And they were like in their twenties or whatever, and I was just like, "What do you think, sixty-year-old? You's gonna say about a face tat if you get one?" He was like, "Oh, that's a good point." 
<laughs> he was like, am I still going to want that face tat when I'm 60? I was like, probably not, yo. Probably not. <laughs> it, it, okay, so my thing with tattoos in general is that none of them look good once you're 60. No. When, once you're 60, you probably aren't going to want any of your tattoos. But it's a difference from it being on your back or your leg and hidden or front facing to everyone in the world everywhere you go i mean that's very true you know like i have some on my back and my leg and i was a lot bigger i've lost weight so like mine have got kind of janky i've had them for a while you know more than a decade so i mean they don't they they're all right but they don't look nearly as good as they used to because yeah. i've lost in game but like they're on my back dude it's get, fine get them touched up i will I, i've thought about it to be honest and my other thing is like i think that a tattoo is more likely to affect you in your personal life, uh, professional life, and life in general when you're younger than it is when you're 60. Because once you're 60 something, nobody's going to be like, I mean, people are going to be like, oh, well, look at that old man with a tattoo. Dude, well, the when way you're people, 20 with that a face tattoo, I'm just like, I'm not going to give you a job. Well, you know, what's interesting. And I thought about this the other day. Um, you know, when we were younger, tattoos weren't nearly as, as accepted, right? Oh, man, we were like, it was like the Yakuza, and, man. And uh, now people get tattoos everywhere and there's all these people that have like neck tats and like tats all over their chest and like these women who are like in, you know they're young and hot and influencers so they have these tattooed body like man get a get like a 60 year old lady with a full chest tat mm -hmm. and you're like she's like oh that didn't age well <laughs> you I mean, know it's not, it's not gonna age well but like i said it doesn't really matter what you get it's never gonna age well if you get it on your neck like once you get old and start getting jowls and turkey neck and stuff, yeah. that is gonna look wild, and that's I gonna mean, be hard as hell to get removed off your neck. Yes, like I couldn't even tell you. I guess like the best place for you to get a tattoo would be like on your foot, some place yeah. that stays covered, that doesn't get yeah. a lot of sunlight. Your, your back's the a pretty skin good spot stays too. about the same. Yeah, your back is because like right, it's always covered, and it's usually pretty taut. Like you know, like even when you get older, yeah, you get wrinkly don't, back, but your front gets a lot more wrinkly than your back does. Don't you ever say my back is taut. <laughs> Never I'm not again. talking about your back. I, you said, you know, your back is usually The proverbial taut. your. I don't like it. I don't, like, <laughs> I don't, don't mention my, my back and the tautness of my skin <laughs> ever again. You know what? I I, I have I, I got to call women out. I, what I hate, the tattoo placement I hate on women is when they get it like between their breasts, but like underneath. Like oh, yeah, like yeah, that yeah. sternum area. Yeah, and it's have super like popular a, too. And they get like really? a man, not a mandolin, a, uh, what's that called? The, the really even... Like, it can't think what it's called. Um, um, it begins with an M. I don't know, but anyways. Yeah, but in that general area, they'll usually have, like, a diamond with, like, a landscape. Yeah, it's like, like a, a triangle, but it looks it has like it looks like it has, like, uh, yeah. Just whatever. I've seen, like, girls with, like, spy. I don't like it, like, right there. And I get it. It is. It's cute or whatever, but. Yeah, uh, I mean. Yeah, no. I, I'm, I'm more. It's not doing it for me. You know, me. It's, it's interesting. I guess, like, I see your point. Like, I'm kind of indifferent about those. For some reason, if it's tattoos on the actual boob, like, any, like, oh. on the actual boob itself. Oh. Like, then I'm like, why'd you mess up your boobs? Those, those, why'd like, you mess up your boobs? <laughs> I don't know. I'm being, do I'm being dumb. <laughs> but, but, like, you know, like, the, the ones there, I'm okay Jack with that. And, and, and even, like, girls that get them on their chest up here above, too. I guess that's okay, too. Like, See, honestly, I think that above the ch above the, the breast line is better than below. Something about, like, that area. Yeah. I feel like it should just remain unsullied. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, uh, I'm all about, like, tattooed women. I think, I think tattoos on women, if they're done right, look amazing. Yeah. But, yeah. but it just depends. There's certain places, like... If you get the actual boob tattooed, I'm like, oh man, that's. I mean, I guess. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't like that on, on on women, I guess, and like on the arm, like where a dude would typically get like that mom or like an anchor, like right there on your shoulder. I don't oh like right, that right, over. right. Like the uh, like the barbed wire circle around the bicep uh, that just says "mama." Yeah. I heart mama. Where, uh, where, where where do you where do you like where do you hate where guys get tattoos, Jonas? I don't care. You, know, you never looked at a dude and like, I don't like that placement of your tattoo. No, I couldn't care less, dude. No. You know, like... Uh, Big tattoos? No. You know what I have seen, That's too, with women up. sometimes is on the back of the thighs, they get to a word on each one. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I, like, I don't know. It's just It just triggers me a little bit. It just, you know... Yeah. You know... I'm triggered. Prison tats, welcome home on your thighs. <laughs> yes. Open for business. <laughs> So, anyways, go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. See you in the thing. Uh, we out. New single. <laughs>